The Nets able to control the tip. We're underway in Brooklyn. Irving to Dinwiddie. Here comes the screen. To Durant. Let's it fly from long range. His first effort off the mark. To Lowry. To the rim. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. Durant to Irving. Looking for his man. Now a steal as the Raptors have it. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know you're not getting back on D. Finishing inside the paint on that one. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Here comes the screen. He got a piece. That'll get out off the Raptors. Good there. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. And the slam. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basket. Spencer Dinwiddie rejects it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Irving into the front court. Down just a couple. To Dinwiddie. Throws it up. Crushes down the slam. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the bucket. Now a whistle, and Toronto's going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Looks like both teams are making... They'll let one fly from half court. Where what more after this? You're watching the Eastern Conference Finals on EA Sports. First quarter complete on to the... of his shots. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Ah, missed it. How'd that not go down? Irving with the basketball. Leads five. Rebounds taken down by the Raptors. So Lowry. And counted at the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Nets have it. Deep three at the buzzer. We've reached halftime here in game four. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Lowry with it. His guy's down three. To the rim. Lays it up and in. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. No, no, no. I'll tell you, 
the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reach-in fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. Misses the first. No good. Missed them both. Pascal Siakam to Lowry. DeAndre Jordan sends it away. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. To Durant. Has a look. A shot by KD, no good. And Ed, that's what you see this defense doing. They're capitalizing on the momentum gain from getting a multitude of stops defensively. Brooklyn's got it. Here comes the screen. Serge Ibaka with the block. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. So Lowry. Serge Ibaka, not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Here comes the screen. From long range. Tough shot for Dinwiddie. No good. The ball controlled by Kyle Lowry. And count the basket. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Some lineup changes. Hey, this is our game. Let's take it home. Let's go. Durant to Irving. For Durant, down low. Stuffs it down with authority. And the defense keeps sticking to those flare screens. Just don't flare out to the three-point line. Flare to the rim for a lot. Nice pass to get things going. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To Van Vliet. Slams it down. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Dinwiddie. Durant. Here comes the screen. To Jordan, down low. DeAndre Jordan, look out. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Lowry into the front court. They lead it. Four-point game. Mets have the basketball. Haskell Siakam. Huge block. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity.
Irving to Durant. To Dinwiddie. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Durant buries it on the catch and shoot. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Now the intentional foul as they get it with a little under 20 seconds left to play. This is a close game, and possessions are at a premium. That's a good move to stop the clock. And hits the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Kyrie with the rock. Trying to cash in. Gets a look. Can't hit. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Raptors with the victory. They stand alone atop the Eastern Conference on their way to the NBA Finals. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Raptors did more than just win a game here today. Player of the game. I like this choice because he really put on a show in this game. There's a reason he's a fan favorite.